Gravity walls are retaining walls that rely on their own weight and setback. Gravity walls can be built to approximately 1.25 metres high before extra reinforcement is required. Secure blocks are available in three colours, heather, bracken and slate. Terrace walls can also be built using gravity walls. Terrace walls create more usable space on site and make attractive raised gardens or planting areas. Care should be taken to ensure that the distance between terrace walls is greater than two times the height of the lower wall. If it is less than this, a local engineer should be contacted for advice. There are two options when considering which type of wall you are going to construct. A cut and fill wall is where you cut into the slope and then remove the soil from in front and behind the wall position. Then refill with approved material. A fill wall is where you are placing the wall at the bottom of a slope and then filling in behind it. Any weight above a wall is known as a surcharge. Common surcharges include buildings, driveways, patios and slopes. A surcharge above a wall may require extra reinforcement. Please seek the advice of a local engineer. Slopes above a gravity wall should be kept to 30 degrees. A slope in front of a wall could lead to erosion and may reduce stability. In this situation, it is best to ask the advice of a local engineer. Once your wall has been properly planned out and designed, always follow the guidelines provided. Ensure that you are using the correct materials as specified by the designer and manufacturer. The animation presented for this gravity wall installation uses a cut and fill method. Once the project area has been cleared, a foundation for the secure wall must be prepared. When excavating the foundation, if you encounter organic or wet soil, you must remove this and replace it with granular material. The foundation for a secure minor wall should be 600mm wide and 260mm deep. This allows you to place a 100mm deep foundation material using Type 1 or Clause 804 aggregate, while leaving sufficient depth to install two courses of blocks below ground level. Ensure the foundation material is compacted and level. Before installing the first course of blocks, remove the nib from the back of the blocks with a club hammer and bolster. You can now begin installing the first course of blocks whilst taking care not to disturb the foundation. Place the blocks using a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level from front to back as well as along the length. Leave a 2 to 3 mm gap between the blocks to maintain joint alignment and to allow for any movement of the ground. Careful attention to the levels on the first course will ensure a quality finished wall. You can also use a string line for sighting down the back of the blocks on the first course. Place the drainage pipe at the back of the foundation ensuring it falls to a suitable outlet. Before installing the next course of blocks, use a brush to remove any aggregate from the top which may affect the levels of the next course. Continue installing the next course to achieve a random bond pattern. Place the blocks and push into position. Ensure the nib at the back of the block is pushed against the block below. Once the second course is installed, use approved on-site material to fill any space at the front of the wall. This will prevent the wall shifting while you are backfilling and compacting. Never build any higher than four courses before backfilling the wall as this can lead to deformation of the wall. Backfill approximately 300mm directly behind the wall with 20mm clean graded drainage stone and finish it 300mm below the top of the wall. You do not need to compact the drainage layer. Any voids behind the drainage stone should be backfilled with a compactable free draining material. Organic soil or clay material is not recommended as these are not free draining and can lead to a build up of water pressure behind the wall. To finish off the wall a coping can be added. Place the copings using butyl cord or an approved adhesive to ensure copings are securely in place. Eye protection and safety equipment should be worn at all times during construction.
you need to cut or split any blocks, this can be easily done using a hammer and chisel or still saw. Tobermore have produced a comprehensive Secura brochure and frequently asked questions document to provide you with assistance when constructing retaining walls. These contain all the technical information you should require including drawings on how walls can be constructed for larger projects and with internal and external radii. Please go online to download these documents or contact your nearest Tobermore office.